please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So today, our disruptor series turns to advanced robotics uh, for what I know will be an interesting and thoughtful discussion. Particularly excited to welcome my good friend, Dean Kamen, back to the committee. He has appeared a good number of times, adding his valuable insight to our 21st Century Cures effort. And for those who don't know, he's often referred to as the Dean of Invention and has been at the forefront of disruptive technologies his entire career. His decades of leadership and imagination have undoubtedly changed the face of advanced robotics, from the invention of the Segway and iBot electric chair to the drug infusion pump and so many others. His inventions and entrepreneurial spirit have led to the growth of the FIRST competition. FIRST, of course, stands for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. His passion for innovation inspires kids from kindergarten to high school and encourages them to get involved in engineering and other STEM fields. The program has grown from 20 teams to over 45,000 teams nationwide since it was founded in 89. I've got a great relationship with FIRST Robotics, very proud supporter. My home state of Michigan is becoming Robot Central, with by far the highest number of FIRST teams per capita in the country. To describe what this competition is like, FIRST teams receive a box with 120 pounds of components. They've got six weeks to design and build a functioning robot, and what they come up with in those six weeks is nothing short of amazing. I've been to a number of competitions across the state. I'm always impressed with, the, with what the kids are coming up with. It's inspiring. I want to stay there all day. From the St. Joe Average Joes, this team, to the 2767 Striker Force team in Kalamazoo, innovative STEM programs like FIRST allows for kids in our communities to dream big and aspire to become inventors, engineers, small business owners, community leaders. It's also refreshing to see kids excited by science and I would note that Dean was treated like he was Bruce Springsteen, walking into St. Joe High School, a rock star for sure. I'm also proud to co-sponsor bipartisan legislation with my colleague Debbie Dingle that would use the sale of commemorative coins for astronaut Krista McAuliffe, who was, of course, tragically lost in the Challenger disaster, to raise money for first around the country. And I look forward to hearing even more from Dean and all of our witnesses about their recent efforts, uh, whether it be first, how the industry and government have grown uh, involved, gotten involved with the program. I also note that the Robotics Industries Association is headquartered in Ann Arbor, go blue. Dr. Coda, among his many projects, is a professor at the University of Michigan. Understanding how industry approaches advances in, in robotic technology, whether in capital investments or new partnership opportunities, is so critical to understanding how we move disruptive inventions from the lab to into commerce to create jobs and the economic growth here at home and a better quality of life for all. Thank Chairman Burgess for continuing the series. I yield the balance of my time to my friend.